episode of the First Million Podcast, and welcome to my guest room. I am not going to promise ever, I guess, that we're going to commit to a new like set filming location. I couldn't pass up the opportunity to film in front of this super cute wallpaper that I put up all by myself literally in one afternoon. Um, I just, as y'all know, have been on a journey of like upgrading my house and redoing my office and it's actually looking really cute in there, but I wanted to just experiment with filming in here because I actually shot my new like promotional footage and photos in the guest room um just kind of wanted to go with like a girlier theme and so I thought why not film a couple episodes in here um I also wanted to quickly just introduce this new thing I'm starting on the podcast because I want to encourage you guys always to like do things that are going to promote the growth of your online income in the instance of this podcast but also in the instance of like just business and what I teach people about every day as a business mentor, I want to encourage you to do things that are going to grow your online income, that are going to grow your business. And so what that's looked like for me is always looking at the data, not just the data of like how the podcast performs, which it's performed so, so well. And so many of y'all are listening to the podcast on like just like different platforms like Spotify and Apple Podcasts. I had totally thought that more of y'all were going to watch it on YouTube And I love that you guys are like listening to it in the car and just being really like plugged in that way. I think that's so fun. And so the data of like obviously what performs well is important to me, but also like I try to pay attention to the data of what is working for me and what I have found. And I think I've said this in the past is that like putting out the volume of content that I want to put out, which is a lot in addition to posting like six to 10 times a day on TikTok. And then additionally, I post a couple of times a day on Instagram, not including what I post on my stories. And then I also post twice a week on YouTube, my podcast every Monday and my YouTube videos every Wednesday, usually minus like one week out of the month where I'm focusing on some type of like launch or push of some kind. So it's a lot of content to put out. And basically what I kind of decided and discovered for myself was that I wanted to try what I'm going to call like a mini series of podcast episodes. So many of you guys listen to this podcast when you're like commuting to work or when you're on your little walk during your lunch break. And I felt like it could be fun to have like this little bite-sized piece of information that you could refer back to. And for me, being able to just kind of go one by one and like crank through questions that I get without doing like a dedicated long Q&A all the time, I felt like that could be really helpful. So what the mini series is going to look like is every other video. So every other podcast and then every other YouTube video, and they'll be like alternating. She'll so get like one mini podcast episode and one full length YouTube training every single week that I'm posting on YouTube. The way that I'm going to do these mini episodes and the mini YouTube trainings, is I'm going to answer one question. The podcast minis are going to be all like financial focused. It's going to be financial freedom questions, um, wealth development, all the kind of stuff that the first million podcast is all about. Right. And then the YouTube training is going to be more like one business strategy thing each and every time. So it's going to be a cool way for me to like, without going through my full, like three points of value, like doing the whole spiel, I'll still be able to answer a question for y'all that I'm getting really commonly. And so these questions are going to be like a combination of things that I get asked on Instagram that I even get emailed to me or just things like my clients have asked me on our calls that I think y'all would find relevant to be answered. So today's question, what is your number one financial freedom tip? This is a good one because I feel like there's a lot of like shiny object syndrome and a lot of like buzzword type talk around this kind of stuff. And it's just personally not my vibe. Like I'm, I'm not so into all that. Um, I think that there are tangibles and ways to actually bring it all down to earth as far as how to become financially free. So my number one tip to become financially free and to start your journey of financial freedom is to get organized. So the first step for me that worked extremely well for myself and my husband when we were moving towards financial freedom as a couple um, was to start tracking all of our expenses. So getting on a budget. Now, for a lot of people, a budget means like tracking or not just tracking what you're spending. No, that's what we do. Hold on. (laughs) For a lot of people, what budgeting means is putting limits on yourself. Like I'm only going to spend this much money on groceries. I'm only going to spend this much money on this, that and the other. That is not necessarily how I think you should be budgeting. 
I mean, keep a record of literally every penny that comes into your accounts or leaves your accounts because without that, you're going to have no idea how much money you even have and you cannot expect to see financial freedom without that awareness of your actual finances. So that's really the biggest thing is keeping a budget and keeping everything extremely organized. Now you can, and I do, set goals in your different categories when it comes to maybe grocery expenses, business expenses, um, leisure spending. You guys know if you are on my TikTok, I do love to shop, but all of it is contained kind of within my monthly like goal budget or um, amount that I really set aside mentally to spend for fun because what are we all doing here if we can't have fun with our money? And also I try to spend my money on things that are going to benefit my business and my confidence and things like that. Um, so awareness and organization, that is the number one tip that I have for you. If you want to become financially free. Now I have been working on um, my husband and also my CFO and trying to get us all to collaborate on like a tracking method for you guys. I know that my husband keeps a very, very strict and accurate personal budget. And then working with my CFO, honestly, as well as my accountant, like we're able to really track everything being generated in the business, being spent on the business, everything from like taxes to earnings, all kinds of stuff. And I think that we could probably simplify down a really good spreadsheet for you guys. I know that multiple people on my team use really great automated spreadsheets where you can input different numbers and figures and you can, it'll spit out numbers for you that are in the red or in the green. And depending on your goals, like everything is automated, but it's still very simple. And that is like that type of structure, although it sounds complicated, will make your life so much easier. So that is really where I think you should get started. And I think we may all be able to get on a meeting and collaborate to get a downloadable version of that available for you guys check down the description if we get that pulled together it'll be linked down below but if that is something that you guys would like um i i can't guarantee that's something that i'll have ready by the time this episode goes live because i literally thought of it today but um y'all let me know down in the comments if you would like access to the like budgeting spreadsheet that will get you started on your journey to high levels of financial organization, financial freedom. That is something that I would love to put together for y'all if it would be interesting for you. So again, y'all check the description box, but likely just let me know if that's something y'all would be into. But that is my quick little moment for you guys on financial freedom. And again, y'all are gonna notice that I'm gonna struggle to reel it in and keep it focused on just answering the one question. But that is the point of the mini episodes to just give you guys some bite-sized info. So I hope that's helpful for you guys. That is my genuine, honest to God truth about financial freedom. You got to be aware of your finances. You got to stay organized. You can't be scared to look at things and you can't be lacking knowledge of your own money if you want there to be an abundance of money. Even if there was, you wouldn't know it unless you were building that awareness. So thank you all so much for being here. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys on Wednesday for our extended YouTube training. Bye guys. Mwah.